hey butterflies it's your girl pam i hope you guys are safe out there um today we're going to talk about this uh stimulus release fund we're going to talk about some of the things that you can think about to do with your relief money when and if we get it so stay tuned Right, butterflies let's jump right in I've got five things that I want you to really think about to um, do with your relief fund money when and if you get it and also um, some things that I want you to keep in mind as this thing kind of un unravels so as you know probably it's all over YouTube it's all over the the news sources um, we've gone from a thousand dollars per person up to twelve hundred dollars per person Honestly, I'm not even sure from what I've um, kind of read and tried to investigate a little bit If there is an actual documented amount now there may be by the time this video goes up and I hope there is um, The other thing that is not locked in stone is how quickly they can get the money out So let's look at it from right now um, the last updates that I've heard it was about 1.2 trillion that's t trillion not billion trillion dollars that will be rolled out to help families to help individuals to help children be able to kind of get over this crisis that we're in right now um right now it does not have a designation on whether or not you are still able to go to work not go to work um, right now it was supposed to be across the board as long as you filed a 2018 tax return you heard me 2018 now keep in mind why i think that the 2019 was not taken into consideration one being the deadline for filing is not until April 15th, and then they've scooted that out 90 more days. So, you know, they can't really take those um, things into consideration because they've extended the deadline. And even if they didn't extend the deadline, the deadline is not here yet. Okay, so that's number one. There were two sets of people that came to mind when they first said that they were considering 2018 taxes and not 2019 taxes. Um, people's situations have changed. The first one being my oldest daughter, my oldest twin, Kiana. Kiana currently is a mother, but guess what? In 2018, she was not. So she was pregnant in 2018, but she had not given birth until 2019. The other people were college students that had not entered the workforce at that point. And so they didn't have taxes. So it will be interesting on how they're going to take those folks into consideration. Will the college students who probably filed under their mother and fathers, will they just get the $500 onto, added onto their mother and father's tax returns? Or is there some type of documentation that you can prove that you were either a college student that has now entered into the workforce or will they take into consideration a dependent that you currently have now that you didn't have before so those are the two people that came into into my mind first I'm sure there's other categories but those are the two that came to my mind so we've got 1.2 trillion dollars that is coming into play um, I've heard two sets of dates now the first one I heard that they were trying to roll it out within the next three weeks, which was three weeks from last week, which would have been around April the 8th. It was going to be automatically deposited into your bank account based on your 2019 taxes for that last bank account. So that was one of the things. The second thing that I've heard is that it might take about two months to be able to get. So, you know, to me, I feel like because this is an election year and I hope that the administration holds up to what they said they're going to do um, and get it out as quickly as possible. Now, there is another debate on whether, like people like me, um, 
I didn't stay out this past Friday because of anything other than I had a, a headache and literally my head was a, a pounding. So, but I took sick leave. I have paid sick leave. But both of my girls work at McDonald's. One is a manager, one is a crew member. And if they don't go to work, they don't get paid. So do you give it to just people that are service people, like daycare workers, um, like, well, service people that do not have benefits, like the malls, like um, the restaurants, um, you know, so how do you differentiate on whether or not somebody is going to get it, not going to get it? Now, somebody made up a good point as I was watching some of the outlets and some of the YouTubes. These children are at home. So where my expenses may, because child care providers are probably still wanting their money because they still have to survive. Um, it's not their fault. It's not our fault. Uh, you still may have to pay. I don't know. But then the other part of that is these kids are home. They eat more. So all taking uh, the electricity is going to go up. All of these things are going to go up. Water bills and all of that stuff. So yes, in the summer, would that have taken place anyway? Absolutely. But a lot of times we've allocated differently. We've moved differently because of the fact that we know that the summers are coming up. The summers are coming about three, two months early. So have people really been able to do that? So um, those are the things that kind of came to my mind first. Now, let's get into the ways that I think you should really consider um, using this month. So let me tell you one more thing. It is $1,200 per adult and $500 per child. Um, so at this point, if you are a family of four and you have two parents and two children, you would be looking at about $3,400 right now. Now, in my household, I would only be looking at a thousand, excuse me, twelve hundred for me, and then five hundred for Janae. So I'll be looking at seventeen hundred. The twins are independent because they're grown. They would each get their own twelve hundred dollars if we are reading this correctly. Now, so um, just to kind of give you a little backstory. Now, what I don't want people to do, I'm begging you, do not think that this is an extra tax return because it's not it is trying to not necessarily give you the upper hand but at least give you a hand so therefore that you you know can get some of the necessities and be able to prepare just in case this thing lasts longer than you know what we think we have no earthly idea i've heard july i've heard august and if we're self-quarantined for that long that's a long period of time so we have to really look at these things and be able to say we need to make smart choices so i have some things that i want you guys to think about number one keep your budget i cannot say that enough keep your budget please you know whether it's on excel or google docs or um every dollar or however you do it pen and paper i don't care but really, really keep a very diligent track of all of the money that's coming in and all of the money that's going out. This is not the time, and I'm saying this for myself, this is not the time for Prime to be delivering to your house unless it's for necessities. You know, all this extra stuff, you're going to have to put it over to the side for just a while. Number two. I know a lot of people may not agree with me, but I suggest that you hold off on paying on your baby step number two halt any baby step number two at all and i really need you all to understand why i'm saying this right now we don't know what this looks like there is no precedence of what we are going through right now in this country in this world we have no nothing to look at as far as this happening i know in the last 50 years so I am just asking you to halt, I'm not asking you to spend it, but just halt. 
This is a reminder. Take out dinner. Alexa, stop. Alexa, my wonderful assistant. <laughs> but I'm asking. Okay. I'm not sure about that. Is she being serious? I really want you guys to really understand that the debt is going to be there. But I think that we need to prepare for emergency situations right now and really, really focus on saving money. And pay your regular payments on your debts, but right now, nothing extra going to those debts. Just temporarily. Three, pow as much as you possibly can into your emergency fund. Now, once all of this is over, then over your baby step one, whatever that is to you, a thousand, six hundred, oh, it's five hundred, a thousand or five hundred, depending on your income. Or for me, mine is a little higher because that's what makes me feel comfortable just for situations like this. Um, what I suggest then is to take that extra money and then just pay into baby step two. That's fine. But wait until this crisis is over and then go ahead and make the payment. But right now, put as much money as you can away. Okay? Four, for those of you that have babies, Make sure you get diapers, not by the pack, by the cases. Uh, diaper wipes, by the cases. Now, I'm not asking you to go and do the whole toilet paper thing. That's not what I'm saying. But what I am saying is, is that a pack is not... You need to be able to have something in the house that could last you for at least a couple of weeks. The least amount of times that you go out into the general population is better for your health. Anytime you continuously go out into the general population and take yourself out of self-quarantine, you are making yourself more liable to be able to, you know, be exposed to certain things. So just keep that in mind. So buy things in larger quantities. Don't go overboard. But, you know, if you know that your baby is in a size 4, then buy a case of size 4s. If you know that your baby needs wipes, then buy a case of wipes. Looking at formula, don't necessarily, you know, depend on WIC, okay? Um, you might want to invest in a little bit extra of formula. So in case you run out, you won't run out. So you'll have that extra. Five, make sure that you have food. Now, once again, this may not go over very well with a lot of people, but I'm going to suggest that fresh foods and things that can expire quickly that would make you return back to the grocery store quicker, I'm going to say maybe hold off on that also. And the only reason I'm saying that is, is because if you're, you know, have fresh herbs or whatever, and you're trying to go back into the store to get more fresh herbs because they don't last as long as maybe dried herbs, then at that point, you're exposing yourself again. So you might have to look at frozen um, broccoli versus, you know, fresh broccoli. You might need to look at fresh green, excuse me, instead of looking at fresh green beans, looking at canned green beans. Those are the things that I think that would really make a difference. Things that have a longer shelf life that will allow you not to have to go back into general population as quickly, which will cut down on you being exposed to anything. And I do mean anything. I've got one more bonus. Make sure that you order your prescriptions, not when you really run out. You know how you see you're on that last prescription, you order it uh, tonight because you got one more for tomorrow. Things are not going as quickly as they had been because people are not being, you know, out and and you know, doing their normal jobs as normal. So you might not be able to get those prescriptions as quick as you normally had. So instead of waiting, if you see you two two weeks out, go ahead and order it. If they say, okay, you're not within the threshold, then they'll put you on that list that they know that they've got to go ahead and order it. They'll go ahead and fill it within the threshold. So just keep those things in mind. That's my bonus for today. I have just a couple of more things to remind you about that I think will be helpful to keep in mind. 
if the money does come out, remember that that's going to open doors for a lot of people that are scammers. So just remember, do not give out your social security number. Do not turn around and somebody say, oh, can you deposit this check and then give me cash? Do not pay a fee to get this money extra early. It's not going to happen. So just be aware of the fact that there are a lot of people that are scammers and do not give out your personal information. The next thing is please keep in mind our elderly. They are very much susceptible to scammers. Um, you know, they think that people are being nice to them and they turn around and they'll scam them out of everything that they have. Make sure that they're protected, but also know that they are in the risk factor. So just make sure that, you know, you spend limited time still checking in on them, but limited time so you don't expose them or get them sick, but make sure that you're at least checking on them and making sure that they're okay. We still want to make sure that they're protected just as well. Lastly, I want you to keep in mind that some of the government benefits may be delayed. Things like EBT, which is food stamps, WIC, um, SSI, disability checks, um, um, Social Security, any of those things, they may be delayed. Hopefully they're automated, but just in case, just keep that in mind that some things may be delayed um, if their staffing is reduced. I'm hoping that as these decisions are being made, that the people that are in charge are keeping in mind that the people that need it the most are the lower income folks. I'm not saying that other people, I'm not saying that I don't need it. I'm just saying that to keep that in mind because if you are not filing a tax return there's nothing in place right now to say how or if the lower income would be able to get any assistance through this projected uh, package. So um, there's going to be a lot of debate on who should get it, who shouldn't get it. I know the maximum is $75,000. But there are minimums too, if you, you know, if you haven't filed a tax return or even if your tax return, you haven't paid, you know, $1,200 into it, there was talk that you may not get everything that everyone else is getting. So it's a lot of stuff that's going on. I just hope that it's fair across the board for everybody. I'm not even sure that that's possible, but I... You know, that's just one of my hopes and prayers that nobody is left behind because of their economical status. So um, I'm hoping that these are just a little tidbits that you can kind of keep in mind as you're moving forward. Um, I'm not sure if I'll revisit this again. I just wanted you guys to, I heard everybody talking about what the plans were, but I didn't hear anybody talking from our standpoint of how to move with the money um, and how to utilize it. So therefore it's to our best interest. So I just wanted to jump on here and give you that um, little bit of information. You guys can use it how you so please, but I want you all to please, please from the bottom of my heart, stay safe. Make sure that you keep your family safe. Make sure you check on the elderly and um, you know, if you like this particular video, please support my channel um, by hitting the subscribe and the notification bell and make sure that you give it a thumbs up. And until next time, butterflies, love you.